Welcome to Sadaho's Soundbites, short audio clips that focus on specific topics from our webinar sessions. Today's soundbite comes from our February Medication Assisted Treatment Webinar. Typically, if you're going to be using one of these meds um, as an outpatient facility, you're just melding that within a primary care clinic. Um, these are prescriptions that you would write for the patient. They would take that to the pharmacy and fill it just at a retail pharmacy. Um, we we do not carry buprenorphine here on site. It's not something that we can just dispense treat from from our facility. Would likely have to have special licensure to do that anyway. Um, and so, you know, in, in a hospital system, clearly that would be buprenorphine as a med um, that we're starting to see used even for acute pain management. Um, and so they could potentially write for that prescription. It could be sent up from the central pharmacy in the hospital and a patient could be started on it um, while they're in the hospital. To me, that is that's an ideal situation that you might have somebody um, in the ER that comes in in acute withdrawal. You could treat their withdrawal symptoms with buprenorphine if you were comfortable doing so, um, but you have to make sure you have that follow-up plan for the patient because I think the worst thing to do is to get them comfortable, get them started on buprenorphine, but if there's nowhere for them to go to continue that prescription, they're going to end up back in withdrawal, may resort to, to the thing that kind of got them in trouble in the first place. So, so while it's nice to have it on site, I think it's better, at least from my perspective in primary care, to think about this as a, as a prescription that I would use just for you know every other chronic disease that I send scripts to the pharmacy for. To listen to more Sadaho sound bites, visit us at sadaho.org.